How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, you know, the NFL, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, starting to turn out like a soap opera. We got spousal abuse, deflated footballs, animal abuse, animal killings, NFL players or former NFL players shooting each other, NFL players being arrested for soliciting prostitution, which is a law that should be overturned. It's a war on women law. And now we got Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank saying that he was wrong and his team was wrong because they pumped fake crowd noise into a stadium when the other team was in the huddle for a team that hasn't done anything in years. So I'm wondering, can't the NFL just play games on the up and up? Do they have to cheat? And Baseball's just as bad with the steroid use and the drug use. All those guys in baseball that use steroids, their records should be torn up. Because they cheated. I watch the games to enjoy myself, to forget about my troubles for a couple of hours, to just relax on the couch and post and listen to the games in the background. But it seems like nobody's doing anything to just... Um, you know, they're not doing anything to win the game. They're winning the games, but they're win not winning games right. So, uh, that's, it's it's bugged me for a long time, but it seems like every time I, I, I click on a, a news feed or I get an email, stuff, for, I get feeds sent to me, my emails uh, of news of the day, and this came across me, SPN, that the, Blank is upset about the NFL investigation on this uh, crowd noise thing. And they're going to get fined. They'll probably lose a draft pick. So, you know, you don't want to get fined. You don't lose draft picks. Play honestly. I don't think Art Rooney did that. I don't think Dan Rooney does that on the Steelers. Now, I'm not back there. I don't know. But uh, I, don't, I suspect uh, the Patriots... I don't think their game was legitimately won because they couldn't, shouldn't have been in the Super Bowl in the first place, maybe, with deflated footballs. That ain't right either. So anyway, that I had to say something about this that's bugging me. I know it's not the paranormal stuff you want to hear about. I know it's not George Norrie and Art Bell. But, you know, I got to talk about other things, too, that I find interesting or uh, that are bothering me. And uh, we just got done with the Super Bowl. It was a great game. What I could see of it, the NBC feed kept cutting out on the Mac. But um, as a fan, I'm tired of all this cheating. Now, you know, fining ain't good enough. Why don't they make the owners get out of football? Take their team away from them, give them the cash for the team, and say, bye-bye. And get someone honest in there who's going to play the game by the rules. That's what I'd do if I were the NFL and the NFL commissioner. You can't play the game honestly. You're going to rig the game whatever way you can. It's time to get out of football. And time to sell your team and go back to selling pizza or whatever made you rich. Okay, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you next time and free Art Bell. Bye-bye.